right, welcome back to Now or Never. That is Clinton Yates. I'm Steve Cavino, and this guy, this guy's in everything. Hold on, December 6th. Let's welcome Luis Guzman. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the show, me. man. Good Thank to you. see you. Appreciate you. You know, I was just watching you in Yes Man with Jim Carrey. Oh, yeah. Wish you would step out from that lit. I should, friend, yeah. I should bust out the guitar right Let's now. Let's go. I'm yeah. ready. That'd yeah, but nice you know movie. what? Enough of the old stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. Tell us about Hold On, the new movie. Um, Hold On, new movie. Uh, it, it, it's a very inspirational movie. I call this movie the feel good of the feel good movie. Right, the um, trailer almost made us cry. We oh, were yeah, watching it. Right? It was deep. Yeah, well, it's about this. It's based on a true story about um, Michaela, who played the lead in this. And, um, you know, it's her journey of trying to make it in music, but also her family, her brother, who dealing with, um, you know, alcohol and drugs. And, you know, it's about, like, never giving up. And oh. she's trying to make it as a singer, and she's coming to you for advice in the movie, well, right? Well, I'm, I'm the pastor. Right. And I run the church that she works in and she lives in because we provide that for her. And uh, I'm just, you know, this encouraging force to her. And so it, it's, a, it's a beautiful movie. I watched it four times. I watched it again last night. Every time I cry. I was going to say. I, again, it's really inspiring. Right. One of the themes you just mentioned is substance abuse and things like that. But I got to take it back to a movie that is related to that, Boogie Nights. Oh, boy. It is one of my favorite roles of yours. And one of the reasons is why the last scene where they pull off that thing <laughs> and the name is misspelled. I mean, I think about that all the time. It breaks my heart because people see that movie and they don't realize how heartbreaking some of those roles are. When you played that role, it's kind of the funny man, but when you look at it now, how is it different than what you thought it was going to be? Uh, well, you know, it, that was an incredible cast of people, first of all, and the writing on that, on that movie was absolutely mind-boggling. Uh, you know, Paul Thomas' director, I mean, Paul Thomas Anderson is an incredible director and... Um, you know, but like you said, at the end, when we actually did that and that sign came, I didn't know that it was misspelled until I actually saw it. And I'm, I'm like. Uh, so that was like a natural reaction. Yes. Oh, wow. wow. OK. For real. That's so cool. Nice. It's so cool that you were part of it. And you mentioned the cast, too, because William H. Macy, you get to work with him again on Shameless. Yes, yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing this year's uh, season of Shameless. OK. And me and Bill Macy, we play, play uh, running partners. and. And we have an incredible, incredible chemistry, incre incredible time together. Like I said, you're in everything, man. It's crazy. Uh, you got to leave some for the rest of us, right? I'm trying. Yeah. I'm really trying. <laughs> now, check it out. From, from Boogie Nights to Hold On, all these movies, all the shows you've done, what are you most recognized for when you're out in the streets? Oh, boy. I'm recognized for a whole bunch of stuff. For Waiting. Okay. For Carlitos Way, The Count of Monte Cristo, Boogie Nights. How to Make It in America. That's a big one. Uh, anger Management, Cold Black. Well, which one means the most to you? Uh, I think they all do yeah. because, you know, they, they're all special. Every single one, is, 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 is a, it's a special uh, moment, a special time for me. Um, you know, and, and again, I'm just totally humbled by it all because I get to work with great actors, great directors, and... You know, uh, many of these roles that I do, they really do have an impact on people. So No, a great one said Carlito's Way. I forgot about waiting. Oh, yeah. Waiting, I used to work right? at Bennigan's back in the day. That was you? I, it was me. I used to work Dude. at Bennigan's. I know it was what? Shenanigans were? Shenanigans, you know, right, yeah. Right, right, right. Same right, well, difference. Yeah, I know, right? Do you want to play a game with us? Let's go. All right, let's do it. It's called This or That. All okay. right, so you got to tell us this right. or that. Okay. You got to take a guess. Okay, so first one, you're a New York guy. Right. Better comeback, although awkward scenarios, Eli Manning or Carmelo Anthony. You know, Melo's back with the Blazers, Western Conference Player of the Week, but Eli's back because the injury to Daniel Jones. What do you think is a better comeback story as a New York guy? Oh, absolutely, Carmelo. Oh. Absolutely, because, you know, Carmelo's been out of the game for a little bit. <laughs> well, and, so is Eli. And, and, yeah. and, and, well, I'm just saying, you know, but, but still, uh, you know, uh, Eli gets to practice with a professional team. Sure every week and Carmelo is at a basketball court but you know for him to come back and do, do what he's been doing lately is pretty amazing I commend him for that okay all right this or that I know you're a Roberto Clemente guy that's right. your guy right that's my but guy better Puerto Rican baseball player more exciting Javi Baez or Carlos Correa Mm. Both shortstops. This is tough because you yeah. know Javi Baez is my favorite player in the biz really? right now so I love this guy that's so your I'm biased I'm going to have to go with you. <laughs> Javi Baez. Yes, Javi. Yeah. yeah. Did you play baseball growing up? Um, no, I played softball. You were a softball guy? Do you yeah, still play yeah. now? Uh, no, man. 
you know. I, I, got, I got an Uber to first base, okay? <laughs> I got an Uber to first base. All right, this or that. All right, so this is a thing that gets back to what we talked about before. You're recognized for so many different roles. But what do you prefer to play? Good guys or bad guys? You mentioned you're a pastor in your latest movie. I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah, uh, we haven't seen yeah, it. He was, but a, he was a badass in Carlito's Villains way. or heroes? Yeah. Absolutely. I'd rather play a good hero. Why? Just because you're a good guy or because it makes better on film? Because I'm just a good guy. <laughs> You know what? I'll take that answer. And, and since you brought up you're a hero and you want to be a hero, uh, I want to ask you about something I saw recently. I saw you dressed up like Robin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you did you see that? What was that for? Uh, that was for a movie called Arthur. All right, so is there any chance we're going to see you maybe in a, a, a as a superhero in, in another movie, in a big movie? We're working on that. I can't really? really talk about it right now. You got to sign on disclosure and all that stuff and get the law papers to my lawyers and stuff. So I... I yeah, a superhero is in my life. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Be ready for that. One last thing that we'll ask you. Who do you think is going to win a title next for New York? Who's going to win a title? Oh, of course. The Yankees. Ah. Okay. My God. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Los Junkies, thank that, you so much, it. man.